So today is Saturday, May 11th, I think, 2019. It's about 4.35 in the afternoon. We're here at Hundred Acre Woods in God's Wilderness Road. We've got a little snow on the ground, but not that much. It snowed, um, how, how much did I it say? It was nine or 10 inches. Nine or 10 inches, and this is all, this is all the stuff not, I mean, and, and this is probably like the most of it. So it really wasn't that bad. So this is all Kirk property, more or less. Bud and I, mostly Bud and I uh, helped out a little bit, cleared a trail and cut a path in the middle of all this brush. So let's take a look while he continues to do most of the work. So there's this husk barna. And while, while I prefer a steel, it, it shone when the night was darkest. <laughs> so, all right. So this was all full of brush in here and I would cut and Bud would throw. And we, right now we're trying to clear it out so that it's, and, this, and that's all, what is that, cedar or something? Yeah. That's all rotted out? Yep. Yeah, there it is. And yeah, there it is. And so we were a little worried about how easy that would be to move. And then we started moving this big, these big pieces around. And it turns out it was ready to go. Our hope was to see if we could get the side-by-side -side up here. And I think Bud still wants to try to get that done today. I don't know. It might, we'll see. It might have, yeah. Let's we'll see. So this trail is not as impressive as one might think. But, I mean, if you look to the side, that's pretty much what it looked like. So imagine instead of going through that, you go through this. It's a good perspective, thank you. Uh, so we cut through here pretty quick, just all chainsaw, all the way up here. You know, obviously there's some stragglers we have to take care of, but this was all, again, it was all thick. You can see where we didn't cut, and that's uh, what it was like. So it was, a, it was kind of a bear getting through here. But then, we opened it up uh, to all of this. And this was a little bit more open, um, but not very much. Not very much. We opened it up to all of this up here. And uh, now this is going to be at least the beginnings of our base camp. The hope is, so we have these, sorry, I, we have these massive, massive cedars. Can't even, I mean, they're just huge. So there's one there, you kind of pan around here. There's another there. There's another over here. So it's kind of this like cedar perimeter. We have this old birch that needs to come down as does that one. And there was this pine that had been taken, had fallen over and it was in our path and so we just cleared all of that and uh, there's the steel needs to sharpen that blade but she did all right so then you kind of come into this opening here let me back up a little bit come into this opening here and it's a pretty decent size opening come into this opening it's clearing again this wasn't clear it was all thick brush and uh, we have a few things done here so that's what it all was but now and as you look through here, it's this fairly decent sized area that's been cleared. Again, we have another cedar tree there. That birch will have to come down. Big cedar tree there. Another one right there. So, I mean, the, the idea is all of this in here is probably gonna get cleared out. So we have one big clear area right to the cedar, which is right uh, there. You can, can't really see it on the camera, but it's that big one right there. So we're gonna clear all of this and have a nice perimeter up here. And what we have done is we have planted some apple trees back here and uh, put some uh, chicken wire around it. So what do we have here? Let's see. It's, uh, Frostbite. These are all zone three, and that's of course what we're in. That's Harrelson over there, right in the middle. 
is um, Whitney Crab. Next to that over there, up here, is um, Kinder Crisp. And that last one, I can't remember. I think Norland. Yep, Norland, yeah. So, and we brought all the brush down here and stacked it. Nice thing about this, it's out of the way. Can't even, you really can't even see it. It's just below the ridge and it's just out of the way. Beautiful. So, again, this is our area. And, uh, yeah, this is the beginning. The hope is to, um, Clear some more of this out. There's that cedar right there. So clear some of this out to the cedar, to this one here. Maybe put a little, build a little biffy or something for back in there. There's another cedar right there. So build a little biffy by that one. Clear all this out, have a nice little, the cedars just are, they're so big and majestic that they kind of provide a, a natural boundary, you know, boundary lines anyway. And then down here, the, the hope is to um, clear a bunch of this out. And just and what we would do is just lay it down. We probably, at that point being me, we would just lay it down because it slopes way down there. And all of that's still mine up into Superior. This, this land, so this is, you know, not that it matters, but this is north. So north of me is Superior National Forest. Land. And and so I would just clear it right up until just maybe a little south of there, so there's no confusion. I don't want to be cutting all that, but uh, yeah. So so this is it, and uh, this is hundred acre woods, man. So very exciting, and we're, we're gonna we have some raspberries to plant, but we're not gonna bring them up here. This this soil was so hard to get into. We started we planted that Whitney crab in the middle. We being you know I started and Bud jumped in. And it was so rocky, so we found, but I had a great idea to find these mounds where the other uh, trees were kind of growing out of. And they were much easier to get to, uh, to get into. So anyway, that's it. And it's beautiful out here. Sunny, been sunny all day. It's supposed to be partly cloudy and um, afternoon showers, evening showers. And it just, that percentage kept going down, down, down. And now here we are. So beautiful. We're going to get after it.